I just discovered how to make the tripod on this camera longer so that I can sit upright because every week I've been like this in filming. And can we also talk about, as I've watched my blogs on Broadway.com, that, oh, let me get something a little smaller, that this nostril is a little shallower than this one. Like I want this one to be like a little more even. Maybe I'll get a nose job. Anyway, have anybody noticed that? I'm gonna try to be conscious of that. I'm gonna like put like tape. If you see, if you see me with a big piece of scotch tape with like makeup on it, that's why. Um, so guys, welcome. Episode four, it's Hanky. I play Bud Frump and how to succeed in business without really trying. Uh, speaking of Bud Frump, he is everywhere. Every time I turn around, he's there, and he's been trying to steal my camera, so we got to watch out for that. Um, I'm going to bring you along and uh, inter uh, just like introduce you guys to some of the cast members that you may have seen a little bit, some pieces of here and there, but we want to get to know. We want to. I want to. I want to show you guys how awesome these people are, how funny they are, and uh, get a little inside scoop on their lives, on their parts. So, come with me. Just a glimpse inside the land that we live in. This is the true definition of loyalty. Those are those are some loyal fans of Dan Ratcliffe and the Harry Potter franchise. But it keeps our house filled and we'll keep our show running. So. We're happy. It's raining. Okay, I found I found somebody. I found two people, and say so I think that they are. Wow. Hey up. guys, Michael Park. Michael Park, can you please first of all say how much you love Broadway.com. I love Broadway.com. I was just I was cyber stalking Broadway.com last night, as a matter of fact. And what did you see? What did you like? I was watching the opening night of. Um, of uh, uh, Anything Goes, which looked fantastic, by the way. Amen. Um, it really did. And I, I saw your stuff. I saw Trump Towers. Yes. I, I it's called Trump Tower, but that's okay. Trump. Trump. Uh, you know what I meant. But I that's the joke. Trump. That's the joke. I understand, I understand what the joke is. I misspoke. I drive by Trump Towers every day when I go home. So. Who, do you play in, who do you play in this show? I play Bert Bratt, the head of personnel. That's right. For Worldwide Wit. And what, what, what have we got here? Who, what is this shuffling? What is this game? And who is this with, that you're playing with? And this is Rob Bartlett, as you know from, I believe, episode three. Three, yes. Episode three. Someone's Thank watching. You. Yeah. Hi, Rob Bartlett. <laughs> and it's, it's hard to imagine a man, a man like this is actually almost tied with me in cribbage right now. Okay, what is cribbage, and what are those cards with, with Dan Ratcliffe's face on them? I have not. This was my opening night gift to everyone. From whom? Uh, oh, I didn't get one of those. Yes, oh, you got champagne. I got champagne. You got some major... Way better. <laughs> Wait a minute. He also got a cribbage board and a cribbage book, how to learn how to, uh, t how to, learn how to play cribbage, and he actually is hes doing quite well. Um, um, well... <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to eat that, Rob. Mr. Bartlett, can you say hello, Broadway.com? Are you on vocal rest? I would marry you if I could. Hey, Rob Bartlett, you're very talented outside of this show. Can you tell audiences what you do in the mornings? Well, I get up. I have, um, usually have eggs. Sometimes I have cereal. I don't think that's um, what he's talking about, Rob. I think sorry. he wants to know what job you have. In the you home. have a job outside this outside yes. this job, right? Yes. And it's uh, you're like a radio star. I have a day job. I work with um, the I Miss in the Morning program, so I, I get up at 4 in the morning to drive it to the city and I do the radio show from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And you do a lot of um, impersonations on that show, right? Yes. yes. Can you do some for us now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I call some out or do, you want, what, do we want to guess? Let me read him. Bill Clinton. No, he's doing Why it. would you want to do this to me? <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, you really got to learn how to treat the ladies. If you know what I'm saying? Marlon Brando. Why do you do this to me? I never wanted this meal. I want a Governor Trump, Senator Trump, Pope. 
bud. Rush Limbaugh. Oh, Frump. I'm sorry. It's Rush Frump. Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh. Friends, Megadinos here. Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> How to succeed in business without really trying. <laughs> More after this. Well, one last celebrity impersonation, because you are so talented, and we love that you're in this company. Yes. Go. One last celebrity impersonation? Yeah. I don't know why, but perhaps it might be interesting if Wally Wampa were played by Christopher Walken. I don't know. Or perhaps Arnold Schwarzenegger. Finch, as head of this entire meal room, I would like to tell you I'm very pleased with your work. You really have an inborn gift for male rumory. I'll be back. Oh, wow. And yes, you will. Uh, it's just, I think it's so cool that in this company we have all these talented guys like Rob, like like uh, the uh, Emmy Award winning Michael Park. Hello. Oh, thank He's you. a soap opera star. Well, used to be, yes. No, well, for 15 in, years. In the later days. For 15 years. It's not right? a tumor. <laughs> I think it's just great that it we It wasn't have... a tumor, it was amnesia. It's that a... brought me down. Oh, you, you died of amnesia? I didn't die of amnesia. I had amnesia. I don't think you can die of amnesia. Uh, you know what? I'm not the smartest boy. <laughs> so, uh... I bet someone's died of amnesia. I don't know. No, but they just Maybe. forgot to live. Maybe they <laughs> <laughs> But I'm bunch. Say, goodbye, say goodbye to Broadway.com. Goodbye to Broadway.com. Exactly. Rob Bartlett. Bye, Broadway. Michael now. Park. And the Quidditch. Quibbage. Cri cribbage. Cribbage, whatever. <laughs> okay, Broadway.com viewers. This is Bud Frump. And I've stolen the camera from Hanky. I kind of thought it would be a cool idea to have a talk show. <laughs> and. I want my talk show to be called I Just Frumped Into You. <laughs> and so I'll just take the camera and the theater and whoever I run into first will be my guest and then we can interview them. Okay, so come with me. Here we are, first hallway. Oh, it's you gals. What do you want? Well, who are you two? But you're like the scrub women of Worldwide Wickets. Everybody knows who he is. This is Vicky. This is Jackie. We yeah, clean this place. I'm what? taking care of the toilets as we speak. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in there? What's your name? Say, 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 say for Broadway.com. My name is Jackie. And? Uh, Vicky. And where do you guys work? We work at the Worldwide Wicked whatever. Look, look at my look at my breasts. See the www. That's the Worldwide Wickets. We clean the whole place. We take care of business, don't we? So you are like maids. What's it like to clean? It sucks. What do you think it's like? No, 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 no. It's it's a it's a good job. We're working our way up in the ranks. I don't know what you're I mean, talking about. I think you're lying through your teeth. Is what I think. But don't get me started. Listen. So um. I'm trying to bring down Finch here at the World Wide Wickets, and I want to know if you know any scoop on Finch. So tell me, Vicky. Oh, no. we clean his bathroom. You don't even want to know what's in there. Woo. The trash can? I can't even get into it. It's unacceptable. It's a lot. He, I mean, he makes a lot of trash for such a little person. Um, I don't really interact with a lot of people that do manual labor for a living, so this is odd for me, but... Um, What's on your head? You know what? I'm offended by this question because I personally sewed these things and Vicky here tied the little bows and made them look really nice and we matched the colors with the colors of the office. We felt like they were special and unique. Right, I, Vic? I don't really like them. I would rather wear a fedora. fedora. Have you seen this fedora? I wear a fedora. I wear a fedora all the time at the office. That's what I wear. Are we interviewing you? I thought you were interviewing us. Yeah. This is about us today. Frumped into you, whatever. Last question. What? If you could get rid of anybody at the Worldwide Wicked Building, who would it be? Right now, I'm thinking it's you. I'm, I'm thinking maybe that great minds think alike, Vic. You heard it first. Even the scrub women don't like Frump. I'm mad. I'm pouting. I just did my first episode of I Just Frumped Into You, and I don't think it went very well. I interviewed the scrub women from Worldwide Wickets. Ooh, great guests. They have kids out of wedlock. They're blue collar. They smoke. She's not, she's not very proud of my first guest. But at least I'm better than them.
Okay, here we are. She's here, people. One of the stars of our show, Tammy Blanchard. Say hello Hi. to Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. We love Broadway.com, don't we? We do. Hey, can I sit here for a second? Yes, sit down. So, I mean, you're, wow. Let's talk about that. Whose is that? Yeah, I see. Did you leave these two big cupcakes in here? Let's, ah. let's talk about the fact that Tammy's dresser's name is Icy, and she brings two <laughs> cupcakes with icing. I'm going to start calling her Icing. <laughs> um, I'm going to actually want to show you guys. Hey, Icy, say hello to Broadway.com. Icy, yes. say hello to Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. How did you get your name Icy? Because I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's how what I'm talking about. How did she get her name? Just because she's so cold. Hey, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, look at this is a picture of me and my little girl, Ava. Oh my god, she is so pretty. I'm zooming in. Hold on, they gotta get it to focus. So beautiful. How old is she? She's three. She is almost as beautiful as her mother. Ah, uh, she is more beautiful than her mother. Hey, and they gave us those for open, one of our opening night gifts. This is one of the gifts that they gave. And then there's uh, this. Well, this is from this. Tiffany's, guys. This is a like a sterling silver Tiffany. Um, I'm zooming in. That is the original marquee from How to Succeed in Business in 1961. Yeah, so uh, I thought the Polaroid camera, I'm glad that they brought the Polaroid camera back. That's fun, right? Yeah, I didn't know that they did because, as a matter of fact, I gotta put the tape this up because I didn't know that they still made those and I've been trying the digital camera for so long and I'm not good at it, so I have tons of video and tons of photos. I don't think that, I don't think the Blanchard is very uh, technically savvy because I, the, the other day I was like, hey, I wanna, uh, I wanna buy you a song on iTunes, I'm gonna email it to you. And she was like, oh, uh, yeah, and she's like, can you get me the CD? <laughs> I'm like, who buys CDs anymore? That this is my phone. This is how technologically advanced I am. I just switched from the A flip bag phone. phone. <laughs> you had a bag phone, don't lie. It was in your car. It was you a carried flip around. Phone. I was flipping it over and texting like all the time. I so when happy. you were texting, you had to go like, like one, one, th yes, hit like I, each and letter. I still do it with this one. Even though this one goes like that, I still just do like, what is it? I'm really fast at it, so it's amazing. Um, okay, can I ask you some question about our show? Yeah. How, tell us about your audition. Uh, my audition was really, really high energy and great. I just wanted to come see Neil because I hadn't seen him in a long time and he produced um, Me and My Shadow's Life with Judy Garland. Which so. you won an Emmy for. Can we just say, we have two Emmy Award winners. Oh, wait, we, we have three. John, John the Arquette. John. Is John an Emmy winner? I don't yes, know. Yes, five times. Five times. Sorry, John. <laughs> uh, uh, we have Michael Park, who, we, who you guys met, is an Emmy winner. You're an Emmy winner. And he's up for one this year, too, Michael, Michael Park. Michael Park, let's, hey, uh, <laughs> daytime Emmy people, please vote Michael Park in. And the audiences want to know, and I have to ask, um, what's it like to kiss Daniel Radcliffe? It's very sweet. Does he have he's sweet? He's 13 years younger than me. Uh-oh. So it's like kissing my son, but he's very sweet. It, I mean, yeah, he could be my kid. Back in the day, girls used to have kids. Yeah, he could be. But old. but he's a man. He's his own man. And he's, oh, he's a man. Yeah. yeah. He's a young man. So has anybody said, like, oh, my God, you're kissing, like, the guy that is no. made famous Harry Potter movies? No, no, no. Nobody even knows. When I walk out the door, no one even knows that I was playing Hetty for three hours. They don't know. They're like, were they you in the that, show? Yeah, sometimes they think I'm Rosemary. Uh, some of my favorite things when I leave the state door, people are like, hey, um, has Anderson left yet? I'm like, <laughs> uh, that, his voice is recorded. <laughs> or like, hey, can you get Daniel to sign this? Oh, or, and yeah. when I was collecting the other day for Broadway Cares, uh, I, in my costume, someone said, who were you in the show? And I was like, what? I know, but they, that happens to you at the stage door. Yeah, but that's because you're, you don't have the red hair, you don't have the big boobs coming yeah, out of your chest when you're stick. leaving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it's I like it though, cause I just walk, I just go home. I gotta get home to my daughter too. So if you come and you see me rushing out, I'm sorry, but my little girl waits up for me every night to come read her like three or four books. So I rush out. Okay. Well, no, we're not being rude. You're going to the kids. I'm not being rude. I've got a three year old. Okay. Um. One last question. Yes, Christopher. Um. Why do you take calcium pills? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just saw those out of the corner of my eye. Um, what is, uh, what, um, what is, like, give us an inside secret to uh, the show here. I don't know, like something that people don't know or something cool that happens backstage or like a weird thing that you know. Oh, or something. Nick Mayo 
every day before the show, Nick Mayo comes down here with his... Nick Mayo plays Mr. Gatch. Yes, Nick, Nick Mayo, Mr. Gatch. You'll get him eventually. You'll meet him, I'm sure. But he, he comes down and he does a whole little number in his nude underwear for us, for me, Mary, and Mel, and it's so he does. He comes downstairs sometimes to for us and does it too. And he does a little mantra, like um, something about like saying the lines quickly, be quick, it's a two-show day. Yeah, and he, and he does it like almost naked in a robe that he like, strips oh, for you. He is so gorgeous. Every time he does it, I say, are you still single? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> He's gorgeous. But um, we love doing the show, and we love Christopher, and everybody is good to each other, and that's what matters. That's right. that's right. That's right. It's a good company, good energy. Yes. Good way to sign off. So tell Broadway.com audiences to come and see our show. Come and see our show, baby. You'll love it. All right, bye. Thanks, bye. Tammy. All right, Hank, you here. Thanks for coming along. Episode 4 of Broadway.com's video from Tower. You guys got to meet Tammy Blanchard, Michael Park, two Emmy Award winners, and the hilarious Rob Bartlett, uh, who does the I Miss in the Morning show and does all these fantastic characters. We've got a really great, talented group here. You're going to meet more people and uh, get to know them, learn about them, and hopefully have some fun along the way. So, thanks for coming. But from commandeer the camera, that was annoying. I have a weird nostril. I'm okay with it. And we are raising money for Broadway Cares, and it's exciting. So, thanks for tuning in. It's Hanky. Peace out. That was like, was that like Ryan Seacrest, like, douchebaggery? Doesn't he say, like, Seacrest out or something like that? No?